Hey everybody, welcome back to Running Gun. I'm JT and today we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I want to share some editing tips and tricks with you guys. Whether you're shooting B-roll for your vlogs or short films, I think all of these will come in handy. And all but one of these tips can be used in any editing program that you want. We just happen to be in Premiere Pro right now and only one of these, like I said, is specific to Adobe Premiere Pro. So whether you're editing in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Final Cut, anything like that, these tips will still help you as a filmmaker. So let's get right into this list. Let's take a look at my timeline in Premiere Pro and start talking about these editing tips and tricks. The first tip I have for you is called In Late, Out Early. And this tip basically means you don't want to keep your audience waiting. You don't want your audience to get bored watching your short film or your B-roll. So the key here is to cut your shots as soon as you can and keep up the pace of your film. So if your audience is getting bored with your film and they can anticipate your next shot and they're sitting there waiting for it, it means you need to cut earlier. So that cut can be from, you know, a wide shot to a detail shot like this or, you know, a detail shot to a wider shot of the scene or cutting when a character enters or leaves the scene. Just make sure that you're not letting the shot drag on. And if you think your audience is going to anticipate what's gonna happen, let's say you have a shot of your character walking somewhere and they, you know, go and pick up a flower, just make sure you're cutting as soon as possible because the audience probably knows what's going to happen. So for the sake of your story, cut into your next shot as soon as you can and then cut out of your current shot as soon as possible as well. Now this next tip is specific to Premiere Pro and some of you may already know this. This is for speed when you're editing and it's called ripple editing. And I can press C here on the keyboard, get my little cutting tool. And if I decide to cut this shot out right here, I make my cut, I'll decide to enter my next shot. Yeah, that looks good right there. And I will right click and scroll down to ripple delete and I will hit ripple delete and what ripple delete does or ripple editing will not only delete my shot but it will move my entire timeline down to fill that gap and that's so I'm not having to delete the clip move all my clips down it deletes and moves everything down for me so ripple editing in Premiere Pro will really speed up your editing and I know there's a lot of programs that have similar techniques that you can use to really speed up and make your editing more efficient. The next tip I have for you guys is sequences. Now remember, whether you're shooting a music video like I have here, we actually did you know, a Blink-182 music video for school. That's why I had to cut out the audio of this particular video. But always remember sequencing and think of sequencing or sequences like chapters in a book. When you start a new chapter, remember that you have to establish the location. So in the beginning of this chapter or this music video, we establish the location as the cemetery here. We, you can see it's looking kind of gloomy. That's how we start off, kind of like a description shot. You can see blood here dripping down the tree. And then our next cut is going to be a wider shot of this little mausoleum right here. And we're gonna really spend some time establishing our scene. And whenever I wanna cut to a new scene or I wanna start a new chapter, I have to remember to establish where I am at and describe that location to the viewers so they don't get lost. And then I can work my way from larger shots to tighter shots. So I can start off with a very wide shot of where I'm at, like a drone shot here, and then slowly cut into closer up of my people and then just keep on you know, getting closer to detail shots. So I usually work my way from super wide and then work my way, you know, all the way down to minor detail shots. Like here we have some blood dripping in the tree, some extreme close-ups. I know I have a close-up of a flower right up in here. So make sure that you're working in sequences, telling your entire story and not getting your audience lost. Now, my fourth tip here applies whether you're shooting a vlog, a music video, or a short film, and I call this tip the power of faces. Sit down, watch any movie, and really pay attention to how many times they cut back to the human face. Faces are really important. They're the thing that we can, you know, emotionally connect with the most. 
So whether you're editing, you know, fast and furious in a drag race and you have lots of shots of cars, close-ups of exhausts, you know, guns, wheels spinning, whatever, remember how many times they're cutting back and showing the faces. Now, actions are absolutely awesome. You know, somebody picking something up, somebody shooting a gun, somebody doing anything because the reaction is always as important, if not more important than the action itself. So you can see here, I'm constantly cutting back, always back to faces, always Always back to emotions and reactions of my characters in the film because again that is what's most important is not always what happens to the character in a film but how the character reacts to the film and that's really kind of what the hero's journey idea of storytelling boils down to is how your subject or your character reacts to everything that happens to them throughout the plot of your short film. So the fifth and final tip I have for you guys, and I really think this is one of the most important ones, and that is to cut with purpose. Now close your eyes for a second. Imagine you're shooting a short film. Your main character is waking up, getting out of bed because their alarm just went off, they're late for work, and the first idea you're gonna have is to cut to the alarm clock, and that is the most cliche shot every filmmaker can think of. When you already know it's going to happen, if you already know a shot is going to happen, your audience expects it, it really comes back to the first rule of not boring your audience and keeping your audience really interested in what you're doing. Don't cut to the obvious thing. You already know what's going to happen. Your audience already knows what's going to happen. Do you really need to make the obvious cliche cut to what everyone already knows is going to happen? So maybe skip right ahead, jump to the next part, and that really comes back to rule number one. Remember, getting into your shot at the last possible moment and then cutting out of it to your next shot as quickly as you can without losing any information. Remember, it's super important not to let your audience get bored and you are in control of entertaining your audience. So show them what they're not going to expect. Surprise your audience with, you know, the next shot and keep moving your story along. And that's the main idea behind this tips and tricks video for filmmaking and editing. You really want to captivate your audience and hold their attention throughout your entire sequence or your short film or music video and always leave your audience wanting more. So that is all for this video editing tips and tricks video. I will link down to the equipment I used and to the actual full music video in the descriptions. And if you have any questions about filmmaking, editing, anything like that, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like to see more video editing tutorials, tips, tricks, hacks, all of that good stuff because I do video honestly as much as I do photography and I really enjoy it and I wouldn't mind making some more video specific video. So if you have a friend that would benefit from this video be sure to share it. If you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button subscribe and until next time get out and go shoot.